Okay, while well, the house is drying, I have already planed this rough maple, which is rough as you can probably see. I played it on one side, planed, planed it on one side, and I will do now the other side a little bit too. I use just clamp it down with two clamps. And with a little block plane, Stanley, I uh, plane it smooth. Just a little bit. Don't overdo it. And that's done. I like that, it's easier to mark afterwards and to glue as well. And the next step is that we need to glue this piece onto here. So we have to make this flat. Um, as a reference, we are going to mark to know till where we have to file it down. And we are going to, to cut off the excess. We will leave a little bit of extra which we will file away when after the, the glue has dried. So I moment how much will I leave? I will leave moment we can saw it afterwards. So I will leave mm, enough material. So I I marked rough line and we, we will saw off the excess. The excess. We do that with a little with a little metal saw. Because the strip is that thin, it, you might risk to break it with a normal saw. So that's why I use a metal saw. So this is the top of our roof. The next step is to flatten the sides. So what we do is we take a caliper, we measure how much the width is, and I measure it's 10 millimeters, and on the other side it's nine and a half. Well, that's okay. That means that our flattened side should be less than 10 millimeters, so that it would over overcome a little bit, which is nice. So I would file it down to like let's say seven seven millimeters. So we put our caliper to seven millimeters over even six. Six is better. And we measure it out to where it would come. And mark our line. So we measure it like this and then mark. I will show you. Put our caliper like this and we mark where it would be the base. And we do the same at the other side. Next step is to take take a little square. 90 degrees one and transfer those lines to the sides. So 
to retransfer those lines as you can see here and we do the same with the other side and we connect those lines to on the back as a reference to know how much we have to file away now I will risk to file as the glue is setting the glue is drying I will file it because it doesn't it's not that, that hard to file don't just don't do it with a lot of force pressure I do this because I want to win time because we have to wait till the glue sets and we can piece glue this piece as well and like that we win some time We want to over have it overlapped a little bit, uh, so we don't want this to be this flat side should be too wide. It should be a little bit 
overlapping from both sides so that it overlaps the cardboard because there will come a cardboard here for example this piece cardboard as you can see ah so we'll we'll keep on making this flat but not too wide because we want it to overlap and then we can glue this into place i will show that in the next video thanks for watching